ride for 100 kilometers? This is the question I will try to find an answer to today. Part of my plan of being able to ride 500 kilometers and today I'm gonna test the pace that I want to keep, the nutrition and hydration strategy that I want to keep. I'm testing everything as if I'm going to do 500 kilometers. It's a lovely day, it's a Friday. Took some time off work because I deserve that. And ready to enjoy it. Let's go. Like the consequences of not training for two weeks because it was a holiday. You can find everything here. I'm very excited because if I do it right, it's gonna be my fastest 100 kilometers. And if I can do it, I'm one step closer to be able to ride 500. Let's go. So the goal of the day is not just to be fast. It's to be fast and arrive relatively fresh. I need to feel good, I need to be fast without pushing too hard. And to do that, I just have to yeah, be very smooth on the pedal and try to just go with the flow of the wind and the road and not worry too much about my speed. So, time to go. 20 kilometers done, 100 to go. Let's go. is gone. So far so good. I radiate three times and drank three times. So a little bit more than I used to. Feeling good, feeling good. Let's go. In 60 kilometers done. This also means I'm keeping the right speed, facing the wind, and not pushing too hard. I'm really satisfied of the first half of this ride. That's a bit <laughs> not a good sign, <laughs> but uh, let's go. I'm hydrating well, I'm eating well, I'm enjoying this ride. Cannot ask for more. Also good news because my body realized immediately and uh, that was good. I had to because some roads was closed so I had to focus on the road. The wind is a little bit stronger than before, which is not great, but in a bit it should be a little bit in my favor. So let's try this. Let's try to keep zone two for another hour. And then the experiment should be completed. 
so far and keeping the speed. So I just need to push through this last hour. Let's go. Approximately 100 at the pace that I want to keep. I'm not entirely sure this is my best time ever because I had some traffic which slowed me down quite a bit in the last 10 kilometers. But I feel good. I feel tired, but not as tired as I thought I was going to feel. So this is great. I think it's a good start. A good first checkpoint for my fitness whether I beat my best time or not. So let's keep going and let's start training for the 200, which is gonna happen in a month. So one month to get to 200 at this pace. Let's go! cooling down for these last 15 kilometers of the ride to come back home I notice my legs are hurting a bit that's okay there is time uh, probably I need to eat a little bit more drink a little bit more and do more rides that are about the three hours mark because this is not gonna cut it if I have to ride this bike for 16 hours so a lot of work to do, which is great. Let's go. You know what? Today was not about digging deep, but hurting for hurting. Let's go. Let's do another push. 15 kilometers time trial to get home. Then I have two days of rest, so I can afford it. Let's go. So that was great. Let's start with the negative part. For sure I need to drink and eat more because in the time that I spent on the bike to do 100 kilometers I lost a little bit over 3 kilograms of weight. Now it's true that you sweat a lot but if I project this for a 16 hours ride I'm gonna die. So starting next time, I'm gonna try a more aggressive strategy of uh, nutrition and hydration. But now let's focus on uh, the results. So before this, my fastest time on the bike for 100 kilometers, and this is actual time spent, not moving time, was almost four hours for an average speed of 26.5 kilometers per hour. Not great. And this, by the way, was done on this ride which was a uh, Gran Fondo with cobbles and snow and headwind, a very nice ride. This time I was riding with the purpose of being fast for 100 kilometers. My target speed was 29 kilometers per hour and I'm very happy to report that I did achieve 100 kilometers at that speed. So this also means that I improved the time for 100 kilometers by a little bit over 20 minutes. In both situations, I had to account for traffic and traffic lights and stopping and everything that happens on a normal ride. So uh, 29 km per hour was a target that was accounting for all these. And uh, please behave. Thank you. So this is what the effect of training is after all, uh, I guess. Besides the purposefulness of, of, uh, of the effort. Uh, training is really working out. 20 minutes more on 100 kilometers is is really big improvement, in uh, and uh, and I'm really really happy. Now it's time to to focus on the next challenge. It's going to be 200 kilometers, 
it's a distance that I already faced before. This was the ride. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you soon for my 200 kilometers training and for my 200 kilometers ride. My road towards 500 kilometers continues and my training for that will never stop. Let's go.